Hey everyone, Richard here. Uh, today I have something exciting, something I wasn't expecting for quite some time actually. I have my CBCS books from Tucson Comic Con, uh, which was in November. So this took just about a month, maybe a little bit less, uh, which is pretty crazy because CBCS kind of has a reputation right now for slow turnaround times. Um, there'll be a link to this in the description, but Spidey Fan recently mentioned this. I thought it'd be good to reiterate it that, uh, their delays are actually in their pressing, and if you don't fast pass, if you fast pass and get your books pressed elsewhere, their turnaround times are actually really good right now. Um, I've actually had a little trouble with CBS, CBCS in the past, but uh, I wanted to get these yellow labeled, so this seemed like the best option. Um, so before I sent them off, I sort of gave guesstimates on what I thought they might grade at. The Green Lantern 87, really low grade. Uh, I thought anywhere from a 1 to a 2. To a two. Um, but signed by Denny O'Neill. Then I have my JLA 75. I, I guess maybe a 4.0, possibly 3.5 or 4.5, but a 4.0 to be safe. I had two Punisher War Journals, number one. Um, one I think is a great 9.8 candidate, but maybe a 9.6. And the other is a 9.4. Uh, best guess, it had a couple spine ticks. Uh, and then I had two Zombie Tramp number ones. One I thought might be an 8.5, and one I thought might be a 9.0. Um, that's actually a really, really tough book to get in high grade. It has a ton of manufacturer flaws, printing defects, and what have you. Um, I don't know about CBCS, but the CGC census only has 20 graded copies, and none of them are 9.8. Um, I think the highest graded signed copy is a 9.2. Uh, so anything in the 9s on that book is pretty good. Uh, and then I have a Lady Death, Lady Bat variant. Um, if it's not a 9.8, I'll be really disappointed. Uh, and then there's a piece of original art in here also. So let's just go ahead and see what happens. Um, I might speed through this because who knows how difficult it will be to get into. So uh, if I cut here, I'll be right back. If not, enjoy watching me struggle to open this. All right, so here we go. Um, luckily I opened it up and it showed me the back of it and on the CBCS it doesn't tell you the grade on the back, so I don't know what these are. Um, at the time of filming this, the grades aren't actually online, so I have no idea what these are. Um, we're just gonna get into it, see what we got. So this first one, okay, it looks like we got Punisher War Journal number one, um, signed by Carl Potts, uh, a 9.6. Uh, signature down here. Uh, this could be the higher grade one or it could be the 9.4. I don't know. We won't really know until we see the other one. I don't remember where the signature was on the lower grade one, uh, but still that's very, very cool. Like the red uh, paint marker sort of bounces or works well with the red lettering here. So there's that 9.6. Very happy about that book. All right. Now we got my Lady Bat, Lady Death variant, double signed by Brian Polito and Merritt Michaels. Um, if it's not a 9.8, I'll be disappointed. 9.8, awesome. Um, very, very cool. This is the misprint variant, um, number 95 of 185. Very cool. Very happy to have that. So yeah. I think this might be, yep, this is Justice League number 75. Um, like I said, I thought it might be a 4.0. It's signed by Denny O'Neill in gold. I think you guys can see it right there. Uh, 4.5, very happy with that. Off white to white pages. Um, yeah. Beautiful looking book. Very tough to find in the wild, I've noticed. So very happy about that. Uh, this is my, my real low grade Green Lantern. Uh, like I said, they went from a 1 to a 2. So there it is, signed on the very bottom by Denny O'Neill. And it's a 1.8. It's about what I expected. First appearance of Jon Stewart. Uh, like I said, very low grade book. Definitely just for the PC. Um, too fragile to even read, really. That's why I decided to get it signed and slab. So, yeah, there's that. Looks like we got the first of our Zombie Tramp books, signed by Dan Mendoza and 
bright pink down there on the bottom. Um, like I said, 8.5 or 9.0, depending on which one this is. Um, anything in the 9th is really good for this book. 9.2, that's very nice. Um, I'm wondering if they recognize some of the, the flaws as manufacturer and they were a little easier on it because of that. Um, but very, very happy with that. This might have been the nicer one. I'm not sure. Now we got the other one. Probably end up selling the one I don't end up don't keep. But uh, here's this one, and it is a 9.2 as well. So that's very cool. Excellent grade for this. Um, like I said, the highest graded signature series of this is a 9.2. So very happy about that. I'll have to decide which one I want to keep and which one I want to sell. But yeah, awesome. All right, so this one, no real need to cover it. It's an original art. Um, this is one of my favorite things about CBCS is that they have these art labels. It drives me crazy when I see sketch covers that have a grade because I feel like the grade has nearly nothing to do with what the, the slab book is. So really happy to get this great uh, Death the Endless drawing by Dan Mendoza. So that's awesome. And last but not least, the final Punisher War Journal. Um, this is either going to be the 9.4 or it could be a 9.8, depending on how my luck goes. 9.8. Very happy with that. Signed by Carl Potts right here in red. Beautiful, beautiful book. Definitely keeping this one for the PC. Probably will end up selling the other one or trading it off or something. But great, great book. Um, nothing but good things to say about CBCS. Uh, they're... They actually got this to me two weeks faster than what their turnaround time estimated, so great, great experience. And I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. That's just a great looking book. And uh, take care, everyone.